What's going on guys, it's Rookie Tech with Solutions. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day. I'm going to start recapping real quick one of my trades that I just covered and one of the new trades that I just took a position on. I want to talk to you guys about DeFine and why is it that I find it to be so important and so vital when it comes down to intraday plays and even for swing trades. And I'll talk about both different things. As you guys can see, we're playing something a little bit different than Gucci Gang. Hope you guys are all having an amazing Tuesday. Okay, Google. Pause. There we go. So let me go ahead and talk about one of the positions that I was in. Um, many of you guys might not know. Just kidding. You guys have to know if you guys have watched any of my uh, my videos. Uh, and it was you guys. You guys just shot up to $58, which was a previous resistance. And I saw that it being a little bit more on the overbought side. And I thought about opportunity costs, right? The overall resistance being at $60. Let me just make sure my screen is being shared, okay? Yeah, so the overall resistance being at $60, right, based on previous highs, and we can do a 180-day analysis and see that, hey, look, based on previous patterns, $60 is a resistance. It's an old support. It was a previous uh, support. Um, it's going to act as a new resistance. That makes sense. So what I saw was intraday, hey, look, it's pushing up. It's pushing up. It's holding. Uh, we did an amazing job within the Learn Plan Profit Lesson Library with our morning call today. I'm holding in between the middle VWAP, showing signs of an uptrend pattern, did not break that pattern. Just hit highs of $58, it was at the top VWAP. I was like, hey, I'm okay with covering. Why? From $58 to $60, that offers about 3.42% potential for profit. That's pretty good. But because JNUG, right, um, just had a huge dip, I saw potential for a potential reversal. And look at this pattern real quick. This is my opinion. In no way is this any stock suggestion. Um, if you're into, into simulation trading, so trading with fake money, then you can test it out. Uh, but 100%, please do not invest if it does not make sense to you. One thing that I saw was on this 180-day analysis, previous support level. Um, I need to move this, so let me go to my... Try to, uh, boom, boom, boom. All right. Good thing that thing went away. Um, so one thing that I wanted you guys to see was that based on previous support levels at around $13, it had a huge sell-off. It was at highs of 14. It was trending above the EMA and had a huge sell-off today. Now, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Looking at the forward slash GC, you can see that the same thing happened here. But again, it's at a support level. It's around 1320. That's a very um, stable support level within the past about three months. So I think just because of the sell-off, does this mean that automatically I think that you know uh, gold futures are going to go down? Um, not necessarily, right? Um, this sell-off could you know, uh, just be a one-day thing, and that's exactly why it is that I thought it could be a good intraday play. Do I plan on swing trading this? No, not by any means. I plan on day trading. If it ends up breaking the pattern and drops below 1280, then I can simply cut losses there. But one thing that I noticed is that as it continues this downward pattern, it continues to be rejected by the VWAP indicator. So that, that's this purple line right here. That's VWAP. And one thing that you can notice is that once it started trending down here, it bounced at the bottom VWAP and then hit the top, uh, the top, the, uh, the middle VWAP, which is the purple one right here at 1360. That wasn't a huge margin. But then when it had this huge sell-off and sold out to 1280, I was like, wow, you know, it's actually starting to show signs of an uptrend pattern. And look at this pattern right here. You know, it bounced here, bounced at the bottom view up, went above the EMA intraday, pulled back, and then pushed up, and then touched the bottom view up. That's almost exactly what it's doing right now. Dropped below the EMA, pushed up, dropped below, and now it's consolidating at $13. Does this mean 100% that it's going to hit highs of $13.33, where the middle view up is at? No. But when it comes down to opportunity costs intraday, right? That offers about a 2 to 3% margin. So it's about the same thing that you guys has to offer, but I thought you guys was a little bit more overextended within the day. So re realistically, I was like, well, the potential for you guys to actually complete that all today, I don't think is very high. Um, I think it's likely, but not very high. So what I did was I covered my position there, right? I, I covered my position and now invested, you know, my, um, um, I think I have like 1,300 uh shares of JNUG right now um, at around $13. So realistically, you know, my potential for profit, I think um, even if I did want to potentially swing trade it, so looking at the 10 day analysis, let's say I want to sell potentially at $14 and it reverses back based on four, $13 being a support level. Do you see here it held above uh, 13, held above 13, held above 13, acting as a support, right? If it goes back up to that $14 price point, again, the margin of profit that JNUG has to offer is a little bit more relevant or realistic for it to recover within a shorter period of time because of this drastic sell-off that it had. Now, if it continues to break support levels, is that something that's going to be showing signs of growth? 
No, not by any means. And that's why I wanted to talk to you guys about why you know dip buying has been such an effective strategy for me and not only for myself but a lot of people within the group. I want to give you a shout out, Matt, because you've been doing an amazing job. If you guys don't follow Matt, I think his um, Instagram handle, you guys can search him up. His name is Matt Santana. Um, yesterday, he made a little bit over $1,100 profit. And all he's been doing is trading ETFs and doing dip buys on these ETFs. He covers profit right away at almost every single day. And that's one of the best, best practices that I think anyone can have, especially because of how these ETFs have been performing. Not only JNUG showing signs of a resistance at $14.50, not only you guys showing a resistance at about $60, not only Gush showing a resistance at about $24, not only um, USLV. Uh, I was on a roll showing a resistance at about uh, eleven dollars, but there's so many different ETFs that we've been trading that are showing signs of you know a resistance on the 180 day chart. And again, I have forty five dollars for oil V. Um, and there's just so many other other picks, right? But one of the things that I think that you know consistent traders do so well is that they cover profits, and that's what I want to encourage each and every single one of you to do. If you're uncertain, if you feel uncomfortable with what it is that you are trading and you're up on the day, you're doing something that 95% of the market cannot do. So why not cover profits and just get in at a later time? It's as simple as that. I want to empower you, um, all of you, to, it's not about maximizing your profits, especially when you're starting out. Focus on consistency. Focus on locking in profits and covering profits and staying in the green more than making the max amount of money that you can in the very beginning. Your account right now will not reflect the dollar value, the worth, right? Think about this. I'm catching you a lot, a lot of you at a young age. A lot of you are starting with a, a pretty small account. If you focus on maximizing your overall profits as of now, you're going to be making these mistakes of not covering profits and all these things that might discourage you, right? So with that being said, what if you focus on consistency because your account value right now is not going to reflect what it's going to be worth in about one to two years because if you focus on consistency and you focus on saving you money and you continue to see value in what it is that you're doing in the stock market, your account will grow and instead of investing $1,000 in a year, your account can be $20,000 just by saving money and if you focus on consistency and you build this confidence as a trader, then you'll have $20,000, right? And if you continue to make the one to 3% a day, that's huge, right? That, that's, that's two, uh, what is that? Two to six hundred dollars a day. That is huge. Focus on consistency. Stop. If you, if you have a small account value, I don't care if you're trading with fifty dollars. I don't care if you're trading with you know ten thousand dollars. If you're just starting out, focus on percentage growth on a consistent basis. That's all. Focus on covering profits, regardless of how much margin it has to offer. I, you know, note this down. Ask yourself if you've been trading for about maybe like six months. I can I can I can almost promise you that for those that are scared to cover profits too early, because of that you know um, like idea that you have in your mind, how many times have you gone from green to red? I'm pretty sure you you would have made more money if you would have covered profits early rather than holding and locking in profits at the peak or where you think it's it's going to be you know peaked out at. So focus on consistency and making money on a consistent basis and less on the maximizing your overall profits. It's just an idea. Test it out. If you're doing simulation trading, test it out. No monetary risk. I just want to share my best practices with you guys so you guys can stop continuing to get this idea of like, and, and I 100%, you know, when I posted my profits yesterday of a little bit over $1,100 on Instagram, right? I had a couple people message me like, hey man, I definitely want to do this. I remind everyone that, hey, I'm also trading with fifteen to $20,000. I'm not here to you know, guide anyone in the, right dire in the wrong direction, but I've been doing this for such a long period of time that I'm okay with investing fifteen dollars to $20,000 per position. You might not be there yet. If you're just starting out, you should not be there yet. You should only be investing to become familiar with the platform. And, and, and with the mechanics of trading, build that foundation, build that eye for val value, and be consistent. Once you get to a point where you are, you know, consistently making profits, if it's you know even three to five percent a week, whatever it is, whatever it is, you're staying in the green. Then you're going to give yourself that much more confidence that you understand what it is that you're doing in the stock market. We're always going to make mistakes. There's always going to be red days. There's always going to be losses, right? But it's about risk management, consistency, and understanding what you're doing. And that's a lot of that's something that a lot of people don't actually understand. So yeah, so realistically, like you know, you guys is, is approaching that resistance at $58. 
I know that it has a lot more potential to offer, but I chose to cover profits and take advantage of another opportunity that I saw value in. Doesn't mean that you guys have to. It just means I just want you guys to get that idea in mind. Focus on consistency. Focus on covering profits. If it's every single day, then it's every single day. Forget about how much potential money you can make. Focus on the money that you've made and focus on potentially buying the dips. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I appreciate that, man. Ricky, in the LPP, do you have a video on level two? I do have a video on level two. What's up, Luis? You tell him, Ricky. <laughs> I can't wait to meet you. Can't wait to meet you too. Um, so yeah, just wanted to talk about that. Why it's so important on buying the dips and why it's so important to cover profits. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys can do me the biggest favor and give the video a thumbs up, it really lets me know that you guys kind of like like these rants. I, I went on one yesterday and the feedback was actually really good. It got a lot of thumbs up because I think people really like me being um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm nice, right? If you guys have watched any of my videos, I try to be as polite as possible. But also, I think every, every so often, I should be kind of, you know, giving you back some constructive criticism because I think you guys need to be held accountable for everything it is that you guys do. And sometimes, you know, people get too caught up in the idea of being spoon-fed. And that's not something that we're here to do. Within our Tech Solutions networking group, why are we one of the largest free networking groups out there? Right? We have over 80,000 members within Facebook and the Facebook group, over 85,000 members altogether. Why is that? Because we filter out manipulation, because we encourage people to do their own due diligence and to only invest in what they see value in. We're here to instill value, not to tell you what to trade. Same within the Learn, Plan, Profit Lesson Library. We're one of the fastest and, and growing you know, courses out there for investing in the stock market. Why is that? Why well, I'm working with this team every single day to provide value, you know, real time. And I continue to update the course with real time of what's going on in the market. And I also continuously remind people and I want to be that backbone and that reminder that everyone needs on how important it is to be consistent and to stay profitable, regardless if that's 1% or regardless if that's 10%. So there's someone at my door, I have to head on out. I need to get lunch or breakfast, it's 9.38. So hope you guys all have a beautiful Tuesday. And like always, guys, continue working hard, continue following your dreams, let your passion be what drives in your success. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.